If you would have five years ago saw the numbers that you're doing right now, you'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. You always have to just stay straight, humble. If you want something, you have to put it out there to the universe. You have to you have to say it, you have to manifest it. I remember being at dinner for him and like the dude was on his phone nonstop. <laughs> and you know why? The belts were selling. It's like ding, ding. It was like every one of those dings was like a belt. So I was like, dang, yeah. man, this dude sells some belts. So what's this all about? Like, I, I guess we came together for this thing. This kind of manifested through David not too long ago, right? David said, hey, I have a room. We're going to turn into a podcast room. <laughs> Matt, right? Actually, I didn't know that no, he had done he... that. It was literally, uh, I partnered with a guy on a newsletter, and he said, we need a podcast. And so I thought to myself, like, okay, who would I want to basically sit down and talk to every week that I got along with and It'd be fun and respected and yeah. would enjoy it. And so I reached out to David and said, Hey, have you ever thought about having a podcast? And his response was, <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. I was, it was almost like, wait, did you know that I was already doing this or like, did you, but I had just like you said, Josh, I had kind of manifested it. We, we had this amazing space here in Beaufort, North Carolina on the waterfront. We have our office next door that we've had since 2018 and a space opened up next door and, and I, you know, I, we, we saw it, we absolutely fell in love with it. We knew we wanted to do something out of it. Um, you know, already had some office space, didn't really need that, but so we made it into like this amazingly comfortable living room area. And, yeah. and, and, you know, one of my, you know, first thoughts was, you know, I should do a podcast in here. And then I'm like, but I don't have a podcast. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and you know, funny, <laughs> after I sent it to him, like 15 minutes later, he FaceTimed me. David's never FaceTimed yeah. me. Whoa. Like, I'm, I'm in the room. Like, a Zoom like, he's like, hey, yeah. look at what I did. And he showed me the whole room. And this is what I was thinking. I'm like, oh my God, this is like, this it. is perfect. Yeah, this is who I want to yeah. do this with. So, you know, that's one thing that, that I always say is that if, if you want something, you have to put it out there to the universe. You have to, you have to say it, you have to manifest it. And, uh, you know, I, I put it out, I was telling people, hey, we're going to do a podcast in here. And I had no idea that we were actually going to do one, or I don't know if it was just going to be me or, or, you know, me and someone else and, and the, you know, all the stars aligned. You know, I talked to you for years about, you've been trying to get me, Josh has been trying to get me to do one for years. You should Straight do a podcast. Up. I mean, yeah, literally and when for you years. And I were talking to you, cause I, well, tell them. Actually, I'll tell him. David introduced me to you because he uses you, and I just bought into a brand and acquired it. And so I needed to have photography and ads and all the other stuff, the creative side of it. And he's like, hey, this, I got is, the guy. this is the guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I said, all right, cool. Let, <laughs> let me do that. And that's how I came and met you. Yep. And David said, He's been trying to get me to do a podcast forever. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm sure it won't be hard to convince him. I said, all right, I'll ask him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then he asked Josh, and Josh, of course, like, you've yeah. been trying, you've been doing Absolutely. podcasts. And that's the thing, you and Nancy and, and, and your team have produced some great podcasts. That's why, you know, this isn't, you can't just pop this, you know, out of thin air. Yeah. Um, you know, the production that we have going on here is, is top notch. And, and it really, you guys have had a lot of practice with doing some awesome podcasts. I've been a guest on your podcast, you know, yeah. um, and, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to, take this to the next level and have some consistency with, you know, with who's going to do it when and, and how often. And, and let's, let's yeah. really make something of this. This thing's going to be called building a brand. Yep. And we're going to build this. We're going to build this brand, uh, you know, as, as we help, you know, other entrepreneurs and, and business owners build their brands. Yeah. And each one of us have had our own journey and all different journeys. And so, and every guest will have their own journey. And so part of, the point of that is we thought that this would be more successful if it's not just about me yep. interviewing you guys or interviewing the guests or David talking about his brain. But if we have all of these different perspectives, like I'll resonate with some people, they'll like me, they won't like you. Most of them won't like you. But Most of them won't <laughs> like me. Yeah, or they'll, they'll be like they're going to resonate t-shirt. with David and not like us or however. And so really what we wanted people to do is enjoy enjoy hearing different perspectives all about building the different aspects because the things that i'm really good at david is not and the things that david is really good at i am not yeah. and the things that you're really good at i'm not and so it's really a, a 
super cool synergy that we've got already. You know, I, I love that we all kind of have our own experiences, um, you know, that we bring to the table, you know, Josh has helped, you know, plenty of brands uh, tell their story and, and, and do that through creative, you know, works and, and video and, and, and photography. And you've worked with plenty of brands from small to, to large, uh, you know, building their stores and their e-commerce side of the, the things. And, you know, I've worked with my brand, building it from inception to what it is today, you know, just every detail of it, um, you know, and, and so love that we can bring that all to the table. Um, and then, you know, supplement that with guests that, you know, are, are at every level of building a brand from, you know, the guy that that's just, you know, just getting started to someone who, you know, is, is doing, you know, a hundred million dollars a year. And, and so having those perspectives, I, I think will be, you know, a, a really nice for the audience. And who do you think uh, will benefit goal of this right for us? Uh, who's going to benefit from what we're producing out of this? What do we want people to get out of this? What do you think? You know, I, I think that we want, um, you know, business owners, brand owners, uh, entrepreneurs that, you know, are starting a, a brand and a, and a business to, um, you know, whether it's it's the validation of what they're already doing. And, and so, you know, that's what a lot of times when I'm listening to a podcast, you know, hearing things that I'm like, yes, yes I'm in the right um, place. That, yeah, like I, I've been doing that, you know, and, and so I need to keep doing it. And it's and because a lot of times when you're building a business and, you, and something's working, you don't know if that's the right way to do it and if it's working, you know, for all the right reasons and, and that's how it should be done. And, you know, hearing that from someone else who has the same experience and says, yes, you know, this is this is how it's done. And you're like, yep, that's how I'm doing it. Or you may be doing it completely the opposite way, not having a lot of success. And you say, you know what, maybe I need to try it this way. Maybe I need to switch things up. Um, so if, you know, we can give someone, uh, you know, an idea, even just, you know, that, that smallest spark, that one idea that they can really change their entire business. Um, you know, so that's, that's really all that it takes. So if yeah, we can give that one nugget that really, I mean, it could be one idea that, that totally transforms everything. And you know. experience, um, right? The experience you've come from, you've failed yeah. a lot. I've yeah. failed a lot. I'm sure Matt has never failed because yeah. look at him, he's, he looks <laughs> like a stud. So like, I, I, you know, take those failures and, and then those wins and like kind of break those apart a little bit uh, of how people listening, right? Like where they're at within their own business and what they're doing, like uh, to really help people. I think, I think if, if the focus is to really help people and their brands become more successful, and if it, it means that the uh, at the fun at poking at us being terrible at certain things or even good at certain things or bringing influence from other people that we've gained influence from mm -hmm. and opportunity from, uh, I think will be super awesome to break Absolutely. that down and dissect it and be. And for me, anyways, I plan on being extremely candid and open about things that I really think will help people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm committed to not just talking about all the things that we've done that worked. Um, I think there's a lot more importance in talking about the things that we've done that didn't work because uh, you can be doing the things that work, but still internally you feel like I'm not good enough or I'm not going to make this work. And we see that other people are going through that, that feeling, that internal feeling that you're trying to find this external thing to fill. All of a sudden you realize, oh, okay, I am normal. Everybody this else feels that too. <laughs> yeah. and that's part of the process. And so if all we did is talk about the wins, nobody could relate to us. Correct. Because we all fail and we all mess up and we all do dumb yeah. stuff. And if you're not willing to fail, if you're not willing to mess up, you're never going to have the wins. Or to put in the time. And, and that's another thing that, you know, to think that we instantly you know, all of a sudden we're, we're successful or, or that, you know, that it came overnight, you know, is, is completely untrue. And so that's, um, you know, to, to help people realize that, look, you know, if you've, you've been doing it a long time, like that's what it takes, you know, and Keep if you haven't it. been doing it a long time, I, I'm sorry, but it's going to take a lot longer, you and know, you, and you do hear that overnight success 10 years in the making. You hear that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. from people who have I actually made it is because that overnight success was 10 years in the making. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. One of the like conversations I have with every new employee we have. And so we hire, we truthfully hire younger and we're still in that process of building our team. Like we really are. Like, I feel like we're just really getting started in big ways. Uh, but everyone we hire has been younger, right? So uh, no, I'm a little bit older. I'm 42. Right. So I've been where they've been as dumb as that sounds at this point in our lives, which is so mm -hmm. weird to say, <laughs> I know, right? but like, you know, we have such awesome stuff like this room right here, the gear, right? Mm -hmm. Like we came over here in this baller Mercedes van that has all the gear and stuff. And, and I had this conversation with Parker. I was like, you know, I want you to understand, I want you to experience, I want you to learn. I want to give you experiences you've never had before. 
uh, I said, but I want you to also understand that like you're in a freaking Mercedes van right now. <laughs> like yeah. you're shooting with like twenty thousand dollar cameras, yeah. like the lens. Like you have cut. Like you're meeting with me with like presidents of companies. Like yeah. you're jumping yeah. to the front of the line. Yeah. So always we all. This is me too. Like you always have to just stay straight, humble, yeah. and yeah. like hungry for like the crave to learn. Because at some point, like uh, we talk about content creation has always been like this super cool thing. And I think it's a super trendy thing. Like mm-hmm. uh, you'll see it on people like I'm a filmmaker, I'm a videographer and it's trendy. Mm-hmm. But if you get in the business of what we do at some point, those awesome cameras and the beautiful microphones, they all become hammers, mm. right? And a hammer becomes that tool and it's the grind of working and putting together and the creative burn and all that other stuff will come in. So I'm always really straight up like crazy open with them from the very get go. Like you guys are like flowers right now. Whoa, yeah. look at the gear room, like awesome computers. Like in six months when these cameras turn into hammers, this is going to really determine how good we are at our trade and what mm-hmm. we're doing. If we love it, and if we're passionate about it. Yeah. So I'm going to bring something up that I noticed. Both of you guys said this and I feel the same way. I said, I feel like I'm just getting started. Yeah. yeah. And so when, when you, break that down and think, why is that? Why do, you know, five years ago, you'd, you'd have said, oh yeah, we're doing this. And <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm yeah, just I'm getting there. started. <laughs> yeah. So what's funny is the reason why is people, when you set your goals, you set your goals from who you are then, not who you'll be when you get there. Mm. And so by, hmm. by doing that, when you get there all of a sudden, you're like, oh, okay. I feel like I'm just getting started. Yeah, because that goal was set from this guy way back here. Yeah. Yeah. And so you are just getting started yeah. if you do it that way. So um, one thing that I've realized lately is if you set goals for who you're going to be then, um, it, you actually get there much quicker because it doesn't feel like Such that a long journey period. is so far away. And it kind of goes back to the book I read, The Gap and the Gain. Like We always feel like we're trying to get way out there and we forget if we turn around and look backwards, like <laughs> how far, far we, we came. And so when you were talking about that, if you would have five years ago saw the numbers that you're doing right now, you'd be like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> like I'm that's, done. that's yeah. as big as yeah. I can ever yeah. even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Now you get here and you go, oh, I'm just getting started. Mm-hmm. And that's part of that journey of why it's still difficult. Because when we were off microphone, we were talking about the fact that like when you're a college kid and you have a $90 cell phone bill, that's expensive. And you're like, holy cow, I got to like work five hours to pay that or six mm-hmm. hours to work that <laughs> to pay that $90 cell phone bill. Yeah. But now you have business problems of $200,000 a month in Facebook spend, um, not $90 a month for a cell, cell phone <laughs> yeah. bill. So you're su- quote successful, but yet you now just have a much bigger problem to solve every 30 days. Mm-hmm. And so it doesn't necessarily get easier. Yes, you just have a different set of problems and maybe not downside's not that big but if you mess up at a two hundred thousand dollar spend like it goes backwards much faster than it did when you have a 90 dollars cell phone bill absolutely absolutely uh to go off that too like um i think it's again we're all you know blessed whatever you want to call it like to do what we love to do for a living and to have a career out of it I, i think it's always really really important in life too no matter what your journey is where you're at what you're doing how hard you're doing that you experience and are grateful for the now like like in that moment like be grateful and take a second to soak in like how how awesome this is like Mm -hmm. i'm so energized for the future and where i want to go and i think that is built into people people that are motivated to be better and better but also having that same yin and yang of like man now it's freaking awesome oh, yeah. because if you all get always get stuck in like oh i'll have this i'll have this you're not you're a yeah. you're a you, no one wants to be around that person you yeah. that's a dick you gotta live in the moment sometimes. <laughs> you have to yeah. live in the yeah, moment absolutely, man, absolutely, and be yeah. grateful so anyways absolutely. yeah this podcast is gonna be all about those things man yeah. take the expertise from everyone in the room plus beyond this and uh, bring people in and make them better, right? Yeah. And with yeah. that, let's you know, let's introduce ourselves and yeah, for, yeah. Let, let you start, Justin. Oh, tell, man. So it's who, always it's like the hardest you part in, ever is like talking about yourself. Who are you and what do you do? Yeah. So my name is Josh uh, Robinson. I own TriWorks with my wife, so I co-own that. She's a huge part of that with us, and uh, we have an amazing team. So we we uh, work with probably I don't know, I think eighty plus different businesses and brands. Uh, we we create a ton of content. But we're kind of a media marketing agency, but we're really content focused. Uh, we make a lot of stuff, and whether it's graphics or uh, animations or video productions, long, long and short, um, we live in it, we love it, and we go crazy on it. So yeah, that's us. Awesome. And what about you, Matt? All right. So I am the owner of uh, Build Grow Scale, which is 
basically we call it a revenue optimization system and framework because we feel like conversion rate optimization is a vanity metric. Uh, what we really care about is that the business itself is optimized so that the customer is happy and the owner is making money and uh, they have a they have a good experience because if you have those things one the business owner wants to keep doing it two the customer wants to come back and buy again that's what creates the su successful business we have about i think right now we're around 28 to 30 people all around the world we're in 13 different time zones um and it takes every one of us to make that work every every week so Awesome. That's awesome. And how do you know this rascal? Yeah. So <clears throat> my, my name is David Faree. Uh, I'm CEO and, and co-founder and, and co-owner of Anson Belt and Buckle, AnsonBelt.com uh, that I own with my father. My father and I started it in 2006, uh, or started working on 2006, got established 2009 and uh, have been doing it ever since. Um, but really, you know, I had, had met Matt um, in probably 2016. 16 yeah, or so yeah. about 16, 16 17, yeah. 17 um and you know needed some help on the website needed to really you know we had just had a redesign but really needed a lot of work with the optimization of it and so you know back then you guys were really you know focusing on conversion rate optimization but i totally yeah. get what you mean by that's just a metric you know there's so much more to that you know yeah. that's important very important but so much more that goes in and you guys offer so much more than that and i think you've kind of evolved into offering more than that um yeah. you know so had them kind of partner with us and we've been, you know, partners with, with our website and, and everything to do with our site, uh, ever since. So that's how, you know, knew Matt for many, many years and, and, you know, really had a good relationship with him. Um, you know, have met you, Josh, um, going back to when my wife and I moved here in 2010, um, that's and crazy. you were working, um, uh, you know, with the company that she was working with doing some content for them and production for them. And went on a cruise um, we together we to Alaska. Together. Yeah, we, we did. Went, I, went to Alaska, yeah. um, which was amazing. Incredible I, by the experience. way, like not to interject him, but I remember being at dinner for him and like the dude was on his phone nonstop. <laughs> and you know why? The belts were selling. It's like, ding, ding. It's like every one of those dings was like a belt. So I was like, dang, yeah. man, this dude sells some belts. And so I was doing all the customer service then, you know, so, and that was, it was just me at, at that time. So uh, me and my father, you know, but I was doing all of anything to do with the internet. It was yeah. me, so all the customer service and all that, but, um, you know, had, had known you then and then, um, brought you on, you know, to do, I think one of our first stuff was, uh, the instructional videos yeah, that we did. And, yeah, you know, you talk it. about the equipment that you wheeled in here. I mean, I remember you coming to my basement and like wheeling, it was just you yeah. and wheeling in, you know, some cameras and, and some stuff, background. white backgrounds. <laughs> and we, we popped it up and, you know, it was, there was a green screen or something, you know, and Crazy. yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's amazing to, you know, and you helped me with that. Um, and then, you know, even the last, you know, a couple years, um, doing some incredible ads uh, that, that have really, you know, really hit. Um, you know, we did some filming stuff here, yep. some content here, and, and some of those really, really popped off. So um, and we're, that, we're looking know, forward to the next one, right? Absolutely. Just the, we just can't let, let it go. Just no, to... no, we, we need to do more for sure. Um, so that's, you know, how that relationship uh, began. And then I introduced you to to uh, work on the brand that Matt had just, uh, yep. you know, partnered up with. So, um, yeah. and, and you guys, yeah. that just clicked like, this instantly. Is one the, it's you guys so, are like it's such a long weird, lost best friends. Like, here. no yeah, joke. Like, he, like when he left after the message, right? Like, this is <laughs> honestly the great thing I think about our business and where we're all in is like, it really is about the relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really is about the people you get to meet. Like, you, like even in this room, I love like talking tech and all this stuff with David mm -hmm. and like, because I learn, man, I love learning. Like, mm -hmm. I love like hearing the perspectives of it. And I hope that's kind of what people glean off of this. But yeah, meeting Matt is like, it's like, I felt like I'd known him forever. Like, it sounds so gushy, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like a it's man so crush. Cute. But like, it was, it was that way. Like, yeah. it was just like that some, sometimes with people you meet in life. And like, that's what like makes life so awesome. It's like, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. And just to, to shout out your work, um, the, the, the brand that I acquired has done really well in retail, not so well online. In fact, David, David actually, um, bought his product in retail and then went online to buy more. He's like, no, nah. <laughs> it, it didn't this, convert. This you site's know? not going to close yeah. me. And this was years ago. <laughs> yeah. This was like four or five years ago. Yeah. And so anyways, uh, I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, no, that's not going to convert. <laughs> <Yeah>. And <laughs> and so as uh, me and the owner started talking, um, I said, well, one of the very first things we're going to do is get new photography and actually put some people in it and, do that stuff and I have a lot of really good ideas for it, big ideas for it and I'm positive that we'll get there but the very first time we spent 
two days or three two days, days, man. Yeah. Yeah. Two full days doing this entire photo shoot. And just to give you guys um, perspective, uh, that site is already selling more than three times what it was. No ads, no nothing, just strictly from changing the imagery and cleaning it up. And so people need to understand that like you can send all the eyeballs you want, but that website is your conversation with that customer that you don't get to have one to one. And you only get a few seconds yeah. in the beginning because if they go and they don't like it, then yeah. they're off and they and may not they ever your, came, come they back. They see your ad again later and are like, no, I already saw that. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. they're just not who yeah. I resonate with. Mm -hmm. And so we've been very deliberate about not, we didn't start ads two, three months ago because we're yeah, still yeah, cleaning really and ready. fixing yeah. stuff. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun because we'll talk about it as we go. Yeah, that will be great to hear kind yeah. of your perspective of taking a brand that, you know, has great historical retail presence and, and kind of making that online presence. What does that take yeah. to, to bring it on to, you know, into e-commerce? Yeah. He's done a lot of work there too. Like, yeah. and like, what is, what was this, June? June? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah June, yeah. Like, think, think about this, like the, what him and the team and together in like, what, two months? Like, came down, like two days, we shot yeah. 200 plus products. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And, and what's great, like, yeah, that's a task for us to do, but I'll tell you what I was amazed by is like, yeah, we did all that and gave it to him. It was like, I bet it wasn't three days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to turn around and three on the days. Website. Like I went on the web, like, <laughs> yeah. like half of them were there. You yeah, know, the teams yeah. were renaming them properly. All the stuff. Like yeah. they're doing all the things behind the scenes. And like, yeah, now it's up. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And what's yeah, funny and, is that I've I've told you about Matt for years. When you know, yeah. Josh has always asked who's working on our stuff because you guys, yeah. you guys do websites. You guys do a great yeah. job. Um, but I was always like, well, I've got this partner and like. You know, it had, it had always and yours just doesn't convert too bad. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it converts great. So yeah, convert I was like, I'm not changing anything. If it's not no, broke, if it's don't not fix broke, it. Don't yep, ever fix exactly. it. Exactly. But and, um, but it's crazy. The world's finally came together. And just to give you guys perspective too, um, maybe they're listening. The guy that I just acquired the brand with, he's 73 years old. So yeah. he like literally worked his career to 60 started the brand at 60 mm -hmm. and for the last 13 years <laughs> has like driven the miles and made oh, the man. phone calls He's and put in so much work the work to like build a brand in retail and now he uh what he has already seen happening over the last 60 days you can see the um the pressure on him just going down going down he's That's like great. oh wow i get to now like have sales come in where I didn't have to make a phone call to get it. <laughs> where these Seeing sales the power are, of e-commerce. Yeah. You're making and, money while you sleep. And yeah. that's, that's the yeah. key. You know, if you can uh, make money while you any sleep. Any of those things you're willing to talk about? Like some of those things that you've done, like in small, like little small things that really made a big difference that if someone out there that's kind of just starting something on their own or whatever that they need to be mindful of? Um, well, I mean, for sure we can, I think maybe when we have an episode about just conversion rate things, cool. but in general, the easiest thing for you to do is go to your website as a customer. Don't look at your website as the owner because there is a totally different mindset when you go to your website as a customer and go, okay, how do I find what I'm looking Where for? I? Do I trust this website? Um, is, is it cluttered? Is there like chaos? When you're the owner and you look at your website every day, you, you develop what's called banner blindness. It's similar to when you get in your car, you can drive 20 minutes to the office. You don't remember if the light was green or red. You don't remember. I mean, <laughs> you know, in the beginning, you remembered all that Everything. stuff when you don't know where you're going. Um, you know, your coffee's in the coffee holder. But now, like a year later, you got, you're drinking coffee, eating a sandwich and writing an email, driving and, and, and you have no idea that <laughs> in the Tesla you know, button, <laughs> what happened. Yeah. And, and so yeah. that's what happens when you look at your website every day. And so you need to consistently, not just you, but have people go to your website yeah, and don't tell and, them anything. Just yeah. watch over their shoulder, have them and say, Hey, try to purchase, you know, your yeah. favorite product and, and see how they see, they trip see if they fumble, you know, and, and try where. to remove something from the cart and add something else or do some things just tell me what what if if it felt easy or if it felt clunky and in simple right yeah, yeah. so I'll, I'll give you i'll give you one thing that uh anybody here that has a website can do is on the thank you page ask a question what is the one thing that almost made you not buy and by getting that like you you're asking someone who just gave you money what was the one thing that almost stopped them and you'll get great answers wow. oh this happened or oh i didn't understand this or i didn't trust or i thought it was a little expensive 
those ones we ignore because I, I don't think that we should ever um, lower our price or give discounts based off of the customer saying it was too expensive. I just don't. Yeah, like, it's all, it's all that's, situation. It's all yeah, relative. That's like, yeah, relative. That's like yeah, yeah. someone um, yeah. asking me how much it cost me to do their website, and then I tell them, that, oh, that's too much. Okay. <laughs> okay, next. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it happened for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, so I don't, those ones we get rid of, but the, the rest of the stuff that's on there, like you go back and fix those things on your website, and you will see more sales every single time. That's the nugget from the yep, day right there. You there you go. Nugget of the day. Nugget of the day brought to you by Mr. Matt over there on the left side. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. job, man. Oh, nuggets are great. Part of the reason why we came up with the term build a brand was when David and I were speaking about it. Um, he, he basically was talking about building a brand in e-commerce. And when we thought about it, uh, that's just one niche of building a brand. Mm -hmm. And he that's kind of your perspective is you've built the yeah, brand exactly, exactly. From zero, that's what i know yeah from yeah. zero to hero yeah. and then i thought like a lot of the lessons that i've learned and that i brought into e-commerce came from brands outside of e-commerce mm -hmm. and so i think a lot of times uh what we learn from something outside of our niche when we bring it into where we're where our lane is those are some of our biggest wins and so i've really felt like um, I want to be able to bring in other guests because I talked to a lot of very big brands in e-commerce, outside of e-commerce, one that would help all the e-commerce brands, but then Josh, the same thing. Um, he gets to work with e-commerce brands, gets to work with, you know, public companies or whatever, yep, yep. you know, and that gives us. Or whether it's a dealership or, or a boat company or, you know, things that aren't in e-commerce. And, and those are big brands. There's, and, there's and, a know. lot of, yeah, and there's a lot of things too, like at least on the content side of things and making content, like why and how do we make content and what's for the purpose, right? And we live in this world where a phone does a lot of these things and certainly the phone can be done every which way to Sunday. But then when you get dialed into things that maybe are used for ads that can be looked certain ways, but filming things for a purpose, like if you're running an ad on social media for a reason, like what is the purpose of this ad? Like that's great and beautiful, but what? Yeah, what's right? the call to action? What's the and call to action? You know, and then yeah. sometimes the call to action can be as subtle as like what's in the ad and how that progresses you through. And you're like, I have to learn more. And that can be straight clickbait that takes you to the site and then it has to be optimized and all those other things. So uh, I, I think one of the things we really enjoy doing is we do work with so many different weird and different businesses that we have this really neat insight on things on like what is a pulse of things that are just not normal because of all that scope, right? Uh, and then so we formulate that and we create that and bring that into like the videos when we make them. Like we do certain things in certain videos because you know they worked on other platforms and that's what's trending. Like mm -hmm. uh, just like it is on social media. Like with social media, you know, what is what's, what should we be making for Facebook? What should we be making for Instagram? What should we be making for, for TikTok? Because guess what? Tomorrow's going to change, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and so we have to change the way we're making and thinking about content and media so that we can give it to brands and brands can use it and place tons of ads and you can use it for optimization on websites and like, hey, my website needs needs this like we're working with like one of his other clients like i need this on the home page great cool so you're doing that and then you get their feedback well, what we what is the goal from this video right mm -hmm. if you don't know what the goal from the video is then you're just making something for for not mm -hmm. i mean and uh so yeah yeah so i i want people to know that when they watch the show i'm going to bring in my contacts or my rolodex of the people that i think are going to be beneficial yep um, who David hangs out with, you spend time with people that are in your sphere. And so mm -hmm. David has other brand owners that like he's friends with that have a different perspective. Yep. And none of us are stuck on our ego that, hey, our way is the way. We really- no, I'm I'm more excited about bringing you on guests so that I can ask them questions. I, mean, yeah. I really want to learn from, you know, from our guests and, and hopefully the listeners do as well. But, you know, I, I want to ask, you know, these questions from- you know, guys that, that are just getting started and, 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 you know, what it's like for them building a brand today, because what it was like for me building a brand, you know, 15 years ago is not the same as it is, you know, for, for someone today. I mean, and th so, they're going to remember, you're going to yeah. go, Oh yeah, yeah I, remember, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Well, you know, did with the, with the, uh, factory seconds. Oh yeah. I didn't even think about that because yeah, you yeah. get in this rhythm of oh, you every forget. day. Yeah, just going, so much. Going. You don't think about what you did, you know, and so having that here and us being able to all pull from a different sphere of influence, because we all three have a totally different sphere of influence, it should be really, I think, very Yeah, I'm excited to, you know, to, to pull in some guests. Um, for, you know, I, I, I have friends that are, 
you know, own, own brands uh, from large and small and, and really, you know, it's gonna hopefully be awesome, we can, dude. hopefully they'll, they'll come on. We don't, yeah. We're all just hoping yeah. that we'll get some great guests, but I know we will. Um, and I think it'll be really exciting for, you know, for the listeners and, and for us. Yeah. So, I think yeah. it's gonna be great.